right guys, check this out. This is one of the most interesting snakes in the state of Illinois. This guy right here is called the hognose snake. Um, and more specifically, this is the eastern hognose snake. Uh, it's far more common than the other hognose snake, which is the western hognose snake. Um, the western hognose is found in more sand prairie type environments, northern Illinois, uh, southern parts of Missouri. Um, they're a lot more uncommon than the eastern hognose here. But this is a really, really cool snake. You can see he's doing one of the things that make him so cool. Um, most snakes have a few things they do to kind of ward off predators, right? Uh, they can bite you, they can musk on you, they can poo on you, and that's kind of about it. They can kind of try to flatten themselves out to look a little bigger, but that's kind of like their repertoire. Um, the hognose snake has a bunch of different things he'll do. So first, he can poo on you, which is what he's kind of doing on me already. Uh, he can release musk, doesn't smell too good. But he also, normally snakes can kind of flatten their heads out a little bit and look a little bigger. This guy actually can open his neck all the way out like a cobra. And uh, it makes him get confused for venomous snakes a lot of the times. Um, you can see he's kind of doing it here for me. Uh, there he goes, he's stopping. Um, the problem with some of their defensive things is they do it, and if it doesn't work, they just stop doing it. And they don't do it very much anymore. So uh, he might not do that too much anymore for us. Um, another thing they can do is they'll do what's called feign striking, where he strikes but doesn't open his mouth so he'll literally bump me with the front of his face like he's trying to bite me but he doesn't open his mouth to bite me kind of weird um and probably the coolest thing he does is if all this fails and i'm a predator and i'm chomping into him and biting him ooh, look, he's, that that's upsetting him <laughs> ah it's the teeth he will actually keel over and pretend like he's dead and he'll lay all the way on his back and just, he'll usually vomit up if he ate something recently. He'll vomit up his last meal. He'll poo on himself. He'll release a bunch of musk and essentially look like a nasty dead animal. Uh, now, if you're a predator and you're like, I'm going to eat this thing and you start biting into him and he starts smelling real bad and looking dead, you're going to be like, ugh, I'm out of here. Forget that. And the really funny thing about the hognos is if you just find him, you know, you're playing with him and he plays dead for you, you can flip him over and he'll roll back onto his back and um, actually, if you just let him sit there and watch him, you can see him kind of cock his head to kind of get a look at you. Like, oh, is the predator still there? All right, I'm still dead. Uh, he actually lays his tongue all out of his mouth and everything. It's pretty funny. Uh, really, really cool snake. Uh, gets confused for a venomous snake pretty often because uh, they put on a big show. He does a lot of huffing and puffing. Um, their nickname is the Puff Adder, which isn't correct. There's a real puff adder. It lives over in Africa and is actually a very deadly snake. This guy is not dangerous at all. Um, they are considered mildly toxic. Uh, he does actually have rear fangs in the back of his throat. Um, those fangs are primarily used for well, delivering the mildly toxic venom they have, but also for popping toads because their primary source of food is amphibians, but more specifically toads. They really like to eat toads. And so he uses those fangs in the back of his neck to pop toads because toads puff all up when they're upset. And so he pops them, and then they go right down the throat real easy. He just does not want to play dead for me. It's kind of cool when they play dead, but sometimes they do it, sometimes they don't. You know, I've found hognose that will play dead the second you walk up on them, and then that you can't get them to come out of the dead state. They just will lay there, and so half my photos of hognose snakes are them being dead. And then other ones you find, and they, oh, he's kind of doing it. <laughs> Not too much. Usually they open their mouth all up and everything. But, um, yeah, sometimes they just, you just can't get hognose snakes to do it. I don't know what it is. It's individual to individual. Um, it's a really cool snake. Really excited to see these guys. Um, they like pretty varied habitat. Uh, you can find them in sand prairies all the way up to, you know, woodlands like this. Uh, this is actually along the bluffs. So the soil here is actually kind of sandy and thin. And that's perfect for these guys because they like to burrow. That's what they have. They're called the hog nose snake because he's got... Let's see if he'll... Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> he actually has an upturned nose. The front of his nose has got a little pig nose. And he actually uses that like a shovel. He'll dig around. Uh, what a goofy snake, huh? Uh, we'll go ahead. I mean, this is... It's, they're, they're uncommon, you don't see them so, too, too often, but they're not really in danger. The western hognose snake is actually listed in the state of Illinois, but um, the eastern hognose snake is a fairly common snake, you just don't run into them too often. Um, so I'm excited to see one, but we'll go ahead and we'll put him back, um, let him get on his way here. I don't know what the heck he was doing. Probably looking for frogs. There's a creek bed right behind me, so he might have just warmed up. We're kind of in late afternoon here, 
And so he's probably out cruising around after he got warmed up and he's looking for, you know, maybe a couple frogs or some toads to eat. Let's see if he'll flip back over for me. Uh. <laughs> what a goofy snake. All right, we'll let him be dead on his own.